What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings, Mark the Messenger. We're back in our video, man. This one's going to be about seven signs a woman was sent by the devil to destroy you, man. And y'all know when I make these videos, I always start to stop top to bottom. But as I was writing the seventh sign, I'm like, oh, shoot. Like the Holy Spirit was speaking. And I'm going to start, I'm going to say number seven first because everybody has to know this, man. Every single day, man, spiritual warfare, every single day. Okay. Now, the devil's not bothering those who are living in sin or in rebellion against God, living a disobedient lifestyle. So you don't have to worry about that, if you're, you know, if you're on the devil's army. But if you're, you know, walking with God, you know, walking that straight and narrow path, best believe he's going to send agents your way, agents of say, Satan. Okay. So number seven, I'll really just say number one. I don't want to have to erase it all and stuff. So whatever. So after the mission is sent, because best believe when, when someone is sent by the devil, guys, someone sent them in the spiritual realm, whatever, a handler, okay, best believe, guys, there's high-ranking angels and high-ranking demons. So somebody sent that, that agent your way. It's not by mistake. You guys don't meet by coincidence. No, no, no. You were targeted in the spiritual realm and in the manifest in the physical. Okay, so after the mission she was set on by Satan is completed, she will disappear from your life. Oh my goodness, bro. This is facts, facts, facts. That's why I just put this number one. I mean, I put a number seven on accident. It was the last thing that popped in my head. But you have to know this, okay? So if someone is set by the devil. Now, this is going like to correlate with everything I'm saying right after this, okay? But someone just disappears from after she's now. What, what, you guys may ask, what's the mission she was sent on? Now, think about it. Maybe you guys fell into lust. You guys fell into sin. Uh, maybe y'all started, um, if you had an alcohol problem or if you had, maybe y'all started, you know, you know, uh, smoking the problem, whatever, right? Y'all started doing that, right? And then now she just completely disappears, but now you're still on that sin. And before she came into your life, you wasn't doing that no more. You was on semen retention. You was fasting. You was praying. Your spirit was strong. The minute she leaves, now you feel weak. Now you're back into sin. That's what that's what Satan sent her for to do, to get you to get out of the narrow path, man. This is not a coincidence. Guys, nothing is a coincidence. This is spiritual warfare. So this is what these agents do. They get you to go back into your old ways. Okay, so best believe after the mission she, uh, she was sent on by Satan, she will complete because there's no need for her to be in your life no more. She what, what she was sent for is to get you to go back to your vomit, get you to go back into sin. Now, now she's, you know, saying sending her to another man. You gave your heart, you gave your soul. You, you wanted to marry this woman, or maybe you did. Okay, and now she just completely disappears. Now she's doing whatever mission to the next man. I mean, dude, you can't make this up, bro. You can't make this up. So be very even the Bible says to guard your heart. For out of all of it are the issues of life. Okay, that's in Proverbs chapter four. Okay, so don't be so quick. You know, now you don't want to live a life in paranoia, you know, nothing like that. So, you know, you just got to use your discernment. Have the Holy Spirit discern who's coming into your life and who's not. All right. So that's number one, number seven, whatever, right? Number two, or I'm just going to say number one. It's kind of, like I said, guys, I don't want to have to erase it all, but this had to be said, guys. Okay, because not everybody who comes into your life, guys, is sent by God. Absolutely. Now, I might make a video, seven signs a woman is sent by God. I'll, I'll probably do that sometime next week, whatever. All right, but the next thing up, okay, is flattery, okay? I said flattery. So be careful who you share your secrets and business with. Remember the book of um, uh, Judges, Samson and Delilah, okay? Samson told Delilah what he wasn't supposed to. He was sharing her his business. No, his strength came in his locks. And, you know, uh, Delilah kept on tempting him. Delilah kept on, you know, flattering him to tell him what the secret was. And he folded, okay? He was weak. And gotta keep in mind, man, Samson was the strongest man in the Bible, bro. The strongest man. And it was a woman. It was a devil. Because Delilah was Satan's daughter. Oh, yeah. Delilah was of the fallen ones. Best believe. You know, now we talk about Jezebel. Now, Jezebel, someone with the Jezebel spirit, they could be delivered. Okay? They could be set free from the witchcraft. But a Delilah, a Delilah, that's Satan's daughter, bro. You gotta think about it. Judas, Judas turned in, uh, Yahshua turned in Jesus Christ, right? For money. What did Delilah do? Turn in her lover for money. Same thing. For money. The love of money. So, and we all know the Bible says that Judas was a devil. So Delilah was a devil too. Facts, man. I'm, I'm telling you guys. Facts. So, and also, a woman could compliment you. A woman could say you're cute, you're handsome, you look good, whatever, right? There's nothing wrong with that. Use your discernment. It, when, when it's flattery for her to gain something over you, you know, this is what they do, bro. It's flattery. You got to be very cautious. Like I said, now, you don't want to be paranoid. If a woman's complimenting you, that's cool. But don't let that get to your head because we live in today in a feminist culture where women, women are very wise. Okay. They're very smart. They may play dumb, but trust and believe guys, women are very wise. So they use their wisdom for evil. Just like Satan. Satan is wise too. The Bible says to be wise as a serpent, harmless as a doe. Okay. But Satan used his wisdom to lure in Eve, to deceive Eve, to be evil. 
Okay, women today are doing that too. They had the wisdom to do good, but they're going to choose the evil. Okay, so you got to be very cautious, man. A lot of these women, they're very wise, but they're going to use their wisdom for evil to lure you in, to get you to get a soul tie with them. Okay, because a soul tie isn't just formed through, it's not only just formed through having intercourse with someone. You talking to the phone with someone a couple hours a day, you, you know, you, you texting them every single day. You're going to be thinking about this person. You know, are y'all hanging out? This and that, right? So you got to be cautious. Now, of course, the strongest form of a soul tie is through having intercourse. But you just, you just got to be very cautious, guys, of the flattery. This is what they do, man. This is what they do. Number two is your spirit and soul will feel drained around her. Okay? The Holy Spirit will always warn you. Okay? And usually when it starts to feel drained, it's not in the beginning. Because in the beginning, you're happy. The flattery, uh, she's manip very manipulating. She's giving you what you want. She's bu maybe buying you things. And you know, that's also a form of flattery, too. A woman just giving you gifts. You're not even asked for it. You know? um, so you got to be very cautious for these things, guys. In the beginning, you're not going to feel drained. Now you're gonna get you're gonna see the signs. God will always show you the signs of someone who's in their life, whether they're good or evil. Okay, you're gonna see the signs, but best believe, guys, towards like the middle, towards like the end of the relationship or friendship or whatever, okay, you gotta best believe, man, your soul and your spirit is gonna start to feel drained around her. She may not even talk, just her presence. Because now now your your conscience is, is waking. You can see the spirit behind the individual, you can see the evil spirit, you can see the demon. Okay, behind that individual. So please keep that in mind, man. Don't ignore your spirit. Don't ignore the, the Holy Spirit warnings, man. You're going to start to feel drained around her. All right, number three is she manipulates you to give your strength into her. Okay, Proverbs chapter 31 verse 3 talks about, you know, you're not supposed to give your strength to a woman. Seems like today, guys, a lot of men are doing this today. You know, a woman called the real man, a man who's, who is easily manipulated by her. And you know, the man who gives, does her so many favors and just a total simp, a total beta male, Woman is going to call, uh, Eve today is going to call that a real man, even though he's just being used. So, as, as I said, guys, all part of the manipulation. You know, you being a sucker, you being a simp, okay, that's wicked. In the eyes of the Most High, guys, being a simp is wicked, okay, that's a weak man, all right? So, when, she, when, uh, when it, just like Samson and Delilah, she, uh, Del uh, Delilah used flattery, but she also used manipulation. Remember, manipulation is a form of witchcraft. Make no mistake about it. Okay, she used manipulation to get into Samson's head to tell her the secrets, or to, to tell, tell for him to tell her the secrets. Okay, so he his strength was lost. And when you lose your strength to a woman, guys, you're taken out. You're going to end up like Samson in, in, a, in, a, in a deathbed, man. This is what's going to happen to you spiritually. You know, so that's, that's what happened, guys. She manipulates you to give your strength into her. Okay, you got to keep in mind, man, a lot of these women today, guys, are closet feminists. Whether they're a Christian woman, whether they go to church, don't buy into, don't. All cap, all cap, guys. I'm not saying all women, but majority of women today, they're not going to tell you that they're a feminist, but by their actions, by their fruits, how they treat you, how they how they treat men in general, not just you, men in general, they're really just closet feminists. So you got to be very cautious of these women. Okay, be very cautious. Maybe she got her heart broken by some other dude, so now she's taking out the anger on every other man she gets into. A woman who hasn't been healed yet, that's a woman too who could be used. That's a, that's a bonus one. Someone leave that uh, in the time stamps. That's a, a woman who hasn't been healed yet. All these soul ties by all these different men, you know, all these husbands. Okay, best believe, best believe, man. That's a woman who could be used uh, to, to destroy you. Okay, that's a bonus one. I didn't even put that up there. It just came in right now. Number four, a woman sent by Satan will try to make you do the opposite of God's word. Okay, to rebel against your leadership, which I talked about the closet feminists. Okay, when God says a man is supposed to lead. And you're trying to lead that woman in righteousness and truth, and she's not trying to do that. She's trying to get, get you to lead her. Okay, that's someone who's sent by the devil, man. A woman trying to lead over a man, trying to rule over a man. Where in the Bible did that happen? Jezebel, we know Jezebel tried to rule over her husband. Look what happened. Destruction happened. Okay, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, dude? Uh, the Ahab, yeah, Ahab, a total simp. He and I, I guarantee you guys, in the flesh, he looked strong. He probably worked out. He was rich. So in the eyes world, he was strong. Dude, it was a total sin, man, spiritually. You didn't a woman control you? A woman who has to put on makeup to look to look decent or to, to use her witchcraft to seduce man? You're letting that take you down, man? So that's 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 what happened with Ahab, man. But a woman sent by the devil will get you to do the opposite of God's word. So you want to lead. She doesn't want to do that. She, she wants to lead. Okay. Uh, maybe, you know, God's convicted you. We got to keep the Ten Commandments. She don't want to do that. Okay. I mean, just the simple things. You try to get, okay, we, we know maybe there's a sin y'all struggling with or maybe she's struggling with. You're trying to be a leader, you know, you try to save, you know, you know, try to save her, right? Which you shouldn't be doing. Only Jesus could do that. But 
you try to take that role, right? And she just don't want to listen. She don't want to listen. She's gonna end up like uh, what's his name? Uh, um, Sar Sar what's her name? Um, uh, Lot's wife. There you go. She didn't end up like Lot's wife. I almost forgot her name. Her name. She, the Bible didn't even say her name, but it just said Lot's wife. Lot's wife didn't want to listen when the angels came because God was about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot, Lot took his children. To, hey, we gotta get out of here. The angels, they're coming to protect us. You know, and Lot, Lot's wife was like, "Now nah, look at the world. You know, this divine feminist culture." Women are gods, and you know all this luxury and pleasure, just like we see today, just like we see today, where women are rulership. Women have all the benefits, you know, everything they have given to them. Eve wasn't trying to give that. Lot's wife, she wasn't trying to give that up. A lot of women today, guys, are not trying to give up the world. And you getting with a woman like that, she could be used by Satan to get you to you turn into a pillar of salt. You know, if you're not careful. Okay, God turned her uh, Lot's wife to a pillar of salt to be an example, to set an example for those. Who go back into the world for those who you know don't want to follow god's word those who don't want to take heed to their husband's commands now make sure of course it's a godly husband but unfortunately today i'm a, i'm sorry to tell you brothers it's true a lot of women don't desire a godly man a lot of women don't desire your leadership is because they're closet feminists okay they won't admit this but this is the truth they rather go to the worldly dude the, or the lukewarm guy the lukewarm christian that's what, because that man is not going to tell her to change her life to let her live how she lives you know, let her keep, you know, live in sin and, you know, just, you know, he just gonna, you know, let her do whatever she wants. Okay, but you being a godly man, you being masculine, okay, you being a strong man, you ain't letting no woman roll over you. She don't want nothing to do with you. For the most part, I'm not saying all women, so don't come at me, but most of them, that's how they are today. Okay, so you're never gonna have any peace with them, man. You're never gonna have no peace. And that's also another sign of someone sent by the devil, a woman or a man. You just, you just try to make peace, but it just can't. It just is. Nothing you could do, okay? And it's just chaos and toxicity. Okay, remember the Bible says witchcraft, uh, the sin of witchcraft is as, uh, sorry, the sin of rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 23. So anyone who's operating in rebellion towards God's word or towards your leadership, you being led by God, that's a red flag. We know that person under witchcraft. We know that person is battling spirits and those spirits are using her to get to you because it's spiritual. Like I said in the beginning, uh, the beginning of the video, Man, the minute, the minute she was sent to do what she did, get you to go back into sin, it's usually that, okay? Not to say that's the only thing, but it's usually that gets you to go back to the sin. Oh, yeah, she was sent by the enemy. Oh, yeah, big time. Okay, get you to you have, her, have her mind on you, and your mind is no longer on, on uh, Christ. Your mind is no longer on the Word. You no longer find yourself meditating on the Word, but you're meditating on her. She was sent by the enemy. Facts, facts, facts. Man, if you guys make this far, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Next one is this oh this is dude the bible warned us disguising himself as a godly servant okay or godly or just a servant right but lives double lives the fruits don't match the actions and you see the patterns walks in darkness okay so you gotta make the bible says that for such as false apostles false apostles deceitful workers disguise himself as apostles of christ for no marvel for satan himself is also transformed into an angel of light so satan's servants they may profess and look and act godly, go to church, read their Bible, right? Claim they keep the commandments, claim they keep the Sabbath day, right? But but deep down and root in their soul and their spirit, they're really devils. They disguise themselves as the angel of light so they can lure in, they can lure in you. Because let's believe when you're godly, when you have the Holy Spirit, you're operating in a high frequency. So people feed off your energy, they feed off your light. Like a mosquito. A mosquito loves coming to light. Same thing with Satan's servants. Satan's children, they love they love the light around them because it's high, high frequency energy. Okay, same thing how the mosquitoes do, they suck your blood. Same thing with these devils do, they just drain you, drain you, and suck you dry, man. So yeah, the fruit, the fruits don't match, the actions don't match, they walk in darkness. Okay, now it's, it's different for women you know, struggling with sin, it's not just trying to fight it off, but a woman is just not trying to fight it off, just giving it over to it, that's a red flag. Next one, there's nothing you do makes her happy, complains about her mistakes, and tries to make you pay for them. Oh my goodness, this is narcissism 101. A woman making mistakes in her past, in her life, and she's trying to make her you pay for the mistakes, be very cautious for this woman. But these type of women, they usually lure in the simps, the suckers, the beta males. That's the usually type of man they lure in. Godly men usually don't fall for this shot, but unfortunately, when you're constantly watching corn, when you're touching yourself all day, you now become spiritually weak. You, these type of women are praying to you. So fight, this, uh, fight the flesh, you know, and you know, have the Holy Spirit lead you. And uh, yeah, spiritual warfare, guys. These are the seven signs a woman in, in, was sent by the devil in your life. You guys made this far. Like, share, subscribe. God bless. I love you all. Peace.